Okay, here we are. We're talking about scenarios. What are they? Why do they matter? Just a quick overview before uh, in the next module, we'll talk about how to construct them. So scenario planning is a structured way for organizations to think about the future by creating a set of scenarios that are based upon current trends. Scenarios are co-created stories about the different ways the future may unfold based upon current uh, and past uh, events and trends. Scenarios uh, represent alternative futures that together capture the most relevant um, uncertainties and driving forces. Scenarios aim to describe the potential uh, feasible region for the future. So it's a set of stories um, about feasible or viable uh, possible futures um, that will help us think about how things are um, unfolding. And of course, they're based upon our current data and past data and how things to see, appear to be developing uh, at present. Uh, so, yeah, the way we do scenario planning uh, is we explore in a rigorous way the forces that are shaping um, the world we live in, uh, the world we're interested in uh, creating the scenarios for. Along with this rigorous analysis, we try to be a bit imaginative. So that's the story creating uh, aspect to bring it alive. We try to look at the most important forces and most uh, uncertain uncertainties that are shaping the future. And we bring those together to assemble stories. Each scenario is a story about how the future may unfold. Thus, we are essentially building those stories out of the forces shaping the future, how they may interact over time. That's an important part of it. We might think about the most, the most important uh, trends, the most important parameters, and we adjust those parameters um, and then we, the interaction of those parameters creates a certain scenario, a certain world, um, and our imagination as to what the potential future world might look like. So it could be the energy transition we're looking at here, and we're saying the parameters are something like, you know, how much more uh, oil we discover in the next uh, 50 years. Uh, might be one parameter, and another parameter might be um, consumers' um, awareness and a receptiveness to um, environmental narrative uh, over the coming years and how fast climate change um, unfolds. And if we look at those, we adjust those different parameters, we would get uh, different scenarios, maybe one where a lot of oil is discovered and that people are not interested in climate change. And that would be an energy scenario where we go on using a lot of oil, another scenario where uh, people become very receptive to the idea of climate change and the significance of it and um, takes it into a different quadrant with a different scenario um, and a different picture we'd be painting. That's the kind of fun fundamental idea here. So it's ultimately imagining the future with scenario planning. It's key to keep in mind that each future we choose is just one potential future um, out of many. So we're not trying to predict things um, because that's impossible to explore all these different future um, ways that the future could unfold. What we are doing is um, trying to understand our underlying assumptions, like what are the most important factors? And, and if, if we adjust those, what would happen? What kind of world would we uh, end up in? Um, and the important thing is that we're not just creating random pictures um, of the way that the world could potentially be in our imagination. We are doing a critical assessment of uh, what are the important factors, what are the important trends, and what would happen when they interact and out of that constructing a story. Um, so the key thing is to be aware of our assumptions that are going into building our models of, of the scenarios into the future. Uh, and again, this question of who's not in the room, that um, if we're going to construct uh, a full set of, of scenarios that could possibly represent different um, ways the world could unfold. We need different people in the room with those different perspectives. Um, good futures research always asks the question, who's not in the room? Because uh, they may have an answer, a model or a perspective that could be um, of value to what we're doing here and help us question our assumptions um, again. So the, the ultimate point of this is um, in casting that we would create scenarios of the future and then put ourselves in those scenarios. And we can call that in casting to get a sense of what that world would be like. Once we've mapped out the different general 
uh, trends of the uh, Three Horizons model, we, we want to explore these different uh, worlds by incasting. Incasting is trying to get inside forecasts, asking what um, is a day in the life of a person in that world like. So really trying to bring it alive. The scenario foresights are not meant to be artificially constructs. They're not just stories that we kind of put out there and leave them and that's the end of the game. But, but they are meant to be deep engagements and to make um, them so we need to become immersed in them and um, have a sense of that reality and what it's like. So that once again, as always, it can inform what we're doing uh, at this time in the present and the choices we make going forwards. So uh, when you ask the stakeholders to immerse themselves in each different future and ask, what does your life look like in those different scenarios? And that's kind of the point of uh, scenario building. 